glad that somebody would leave him in the dark. I mean, he wasn't dead when he was hit. Right now, family members and investigators are looking for help finding the driver who hit a teenager and then kept going. 18 year old Alex Needham is still in the hospital tonight. Welcome in. I'm Jim Dunaway. I'm Sherry Jackson. That vehicle hit Alex on Highway 79 in Jefferson County earlier this week. CBS 42 News reporter Michael Clark spoke exclusively with a woman who stopped to help him. And Michael, today she met with a family the man whose life she saved. Yeah, that's right. Good Samaritans actually had to swerve to avoid him, then stop to help hold his hand until paramedics got there. Today we were there for an emotional meeting one on one between one of the helpers and the victim's mother. Covered in scrapes and scars, nursing a broken leg. It's hard for Alex Needham's mom to see him like this. He could have been dead. He should have been dead. This 18-year-old's life forever changed after he was hit by a vehicle as he walked along the median of Highway 79. The driver kept going. If I came across something like that, I would stop and, and help. In the darkness Wednesday night. God definitely played a role in putting us in that spot at that exact moment. Renee Downs and her family chose not to spend extra time at the hospital with their newborn granddaughter, instead going back home. We just thought it was a bunch of trash because there was kind of trash all over the road. And all of a sudden we realized it was a person. Hearing Needham screams for help, Down says she held his hand and kept his attention. How can somebody leave another human being to just lay there not knowing how they're doing. Downs tells us she hasn't been able to sleep, wondering how the teen she held was doing. I'm sorry. Until she spotted Needham's family by the accident scene today. <laughs> okay. Emotions high as Needham's mom got to hug and hold the Good Samaritan who helped her son. It makes me feel really good that there are people that, with hearts and that care. Now this mother hopes these pictures inspire someone to come forward before anyone else ends up in the hospital. Alex got lucky. Maybe the next person won't be lucky. Now, this is a serious crime. It carries a felony and potential jail time. Police believe the suspect's vehicle is a white C-Class Mercedes-Benz sedan with damage to the driver's door or mirror. If you know anything, call the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office. Live in the newsroom tonight, Michael Clark, CBS 42 News local coverage you can count on.